New York and on the new Hot 97 app. Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. Ebro in the morning, Laura Styles, Rosenberg, True Life. Yeah. Give it up for a low east side. Yes, back, in yes, the, yes. back in the game, man. <laughs> Yo, man, it's been how many years, man? It's been a long time coming, man. Long time coming. But like, it's been for real. Like, you went away for a while, man. We was all rooting for you, and yeah. I know. Shout out to Cypher Sounds. Yeah, shout out to Cypher Sounds. Yeah, man. Pull the mic close. Um, oh. and, and just, I mean, look, the community, especially here in New York, was rooting for you, man. You you yeah, did your did your time. You know what I'm saying? You kept man. writing the music. Yes. Came home. <laughs> still working. <laughs> yes, yes. Always working. Proud man. of you, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. How's it feel? God is good, man. I just feel good, man. I feel like I'm in a good space right now, you know, putting God first, and I'm just Doing the things that I love to do, and I um, finally finished this project, and you know we putting it out, and it's just a blessing, man, from God. How you know coming from the streets of New York and the many different you yeah. know things that you've been through with other rappers and just in the neighborhood shit, and yeah. I mean what you was signed, you was managed by, signed to Rock Nate. Uh, no, I was signed, to, I was signed to um, Jay Z before. Jay Z, yeah, right? Before I went away, yeah. I was yeah, signed to Jay -Z. that happened, and uh, shout out to OG Wan. Everybody shout brought to that OG to Wan life for sure, for sure. And um, it, I mean, that's a tough turn, man, to yeah. have all of that shit going in your favor. Yeah, billboards on Times Square, you know, sitting courtside with Jay Z, to you know, being behind the wall, sleeping in the same cell as Tupac for five years, you know, waking up every day. For three years straight, you know, was the hardest, you know, fighting for my life on Rikers Island, you know, for a crime I didn't even do. And I ended up going away, you know, the five years. I did, you know, I, I, I got sentenced to eight years. I did seven out of that. Mm. And, um, you know, that was tough. But the first, the toughest part of it all was, you know, the three years of just not knowing if I was ne ever going to come home, you know, because I was facing life in prison for a crime I didn't do. But, you know, how did behind you, me now. And um, How do you adjust to that, though? Like... How long does it take you, you know, every day waking up and putting one foot in front of the other and just without knowing what your future holds? You don't really know how strong you are sometimes until being strong is your only option, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I could act like I was Superman and, you know, I'm so strong and, uh, you know, I went through it and come home like I'm super gangster and all that, but that's not the truth, you know. It's, the truth is, you know, it really broke me down. And I ain't think I could survive through it, you know, getting on the phone and, you know, your kids is on the line. Daddy, when you coming home? You know, I just got this video game, two players, you know, um, my birthday's next week. You know, and they, they not knowing where I'm at. They not knowing the severity of the situation where I may never come home. Where they, they're talking about, I'm going to get life in prison and I'm locked up for a crime I didn't do. You know, so it's tough. You know, it's, it's not easy. But um, I don't know, God, looking back and looking at myself even, you know what I'm saying? I'll just be like, wow, um, God just got me through it, you know? I think it's a really interesting transition, too, because not only when you get out, right, everybody's expecting you to deliver right yeah. away, but can you yeah. talk about just kind of, you know, you haven't seen your family in a really long time and trying to balance and, you You're know, keep everybody happy. You're one of the first people happy. that actually says something like that because, you know, most people just expect me to be like, you know, they see Back a lot to the of, club. Yeah, they're not, yeah. They, they see a lot of these rappers that's like, you know, oh, Gucci, man, just put out 10 albums, you know what I'm saying? He's right, been home right, a week. Right. I'm like, I don't know if Gucci, man, was sitting for three years of his life facing life like every day like you know it's like the doctor telling you oh you're gonna die but then they're like hold on hold on we don't we don't know exactly the results yet let me go check the results and then you wait and every day for the results like do i got aids am i gonna live like how long you know what i'm saying like so it's that type of pressure is just like another type of pressure so me coming home after all of that you know, it took some time just for me to even live and get my family life together, you know, spend time with my kids, figure that out, you know, and then I lost everything when I went away. I lost my house. I lost my cars. I came home to nothing. I came home right. to own the IRS money. I just lost every single thing that I had, you know, so I had to build everything back up. So it wasn't just as easy as getting back in the studio. And then that's a whole nother process, too, because music changed so drastically, too, when you went away for damn near a decade, you know, so I had to figure out the music and I didn't want to come home and be rhyming at SOBs with 200 people. So I had to make sure if I was going to do it, it was going to be on a big stage and I'll be able to compete with all the big guys, you know, from Drake, the little baby or whoever it is, you know? Mm -hmm. So I had to figure out the music sound and everything too. But first I had to figure out my personal life, you know? And how, um, you, you have two kids, one? Two. Two, two, two boys, kids, man. Two boys. Cy and Roy. What up, Cy and Roy? Those are my a and too, by the way. How old are they now? Yeah, my son, man, I got two grown ones, man, 16 and 11, man. And uh, my 16, yo, you know, listen, man, he don't let me come home. Well, my my 11-year-old's actually more ruthless. You know, if I come home with some music and it ain't right, they're going to tell me. 
They're going to be like, that ain't it, Dad. That's whack. <laughs> wow. You know, they're going to be like, that ain't it. That's you trash. You better than me. I don't listen to kids. <laughs> I don't listen to none of these rabbit head ass kids, man. I feel you, man. Nah, I feel man. you. I, feel we, you. I, I tell people all the time, man, I'm, I'm talking to 27-year-olds, man. I'm talking to people with stuff to lose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got kids. You know, they got wives, maybe. They trying to buy a house. They trying to figure out life. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of times artists trying to keep up with the kids is a, it's a trick bag. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, it might get you some radio play. Yeah, the DJs might play it because, you know, it sounds like everything else. You I know think what I'm saying? It, but it's, 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 it's a dangerous place to live in that space. Yeah. And we had this talk when we was at the studio. How yeah. long ago was that we saw each other at the studio? Man, that was like when I first came home. It feels like it was yesterday, but it was actually two years. You know what wow. I'm saying? Wow, it's, yeah, it's been that been long. Two years, yeah. And you've been cooking this whole time? Yeah, I've been cooking. Now, I ain't going to say the whole time. You know, that's why, you know, some people was like, damn, you know, they, they felt like I should have came back faster or sooner, but I had to fix my personal yeah. life and get my of mind course. right and and, and and do a lot. So it's really not been that long of me, like, giving right. it full-fledged to have the body of work that I have right now on the music side. But, you know, we here now. And, and your the future record that you had put out yeah. early. Yeah. Um, that happened like maybe a year ago, right? You had dropped the record. Yeah, I dropped that about a year ago for sure. Cause Future was like me and Future go way back, man. I know Future from when he was me head. We came up in a dungeon. Shout out to Rico Wade and the whole um wow. dungeon Ghost family. Fall. A lot of people wow. don't know. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't know, like, my history with, with, with them, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty much Dungeon family. I was just never signed to them, but I grew up in the Dungeon as well. So me and Future just grew up doing music together. We had records from way before he was Future, you know what I'm saying, that we never even put out. So when I came home, he was the first one that actually called me. My whole ride back from Clinton Correctional Facility, I was pretty much spent that on the phone with, with, with Future, talking the whole time. And... I didn't even realize like how big he was. Like, be honest with you, like I was proud of him and I knew he was doing his thing and he finally, you know, had got on and was moving, but I just didn't understand the movement was that big. And he was just telling me, like, wow, you coming home and I'm on top of the world. And he was like, you know, I was a free agent. So he was just like, Man, if you're gonna do it, you need to be doing it with me. Like, you don't need to be with nobody. And I just felt like it was natural. I really didn't want to like do another deal with like another rapper, but I just felt like if I was, it just made sense to do it with my brother. Somebody you knew. Yeah, because he's like my brother, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, so are you guys still working together now? Yeah, that's my brother. We always gonna work. You know what I'm saying? I I left Epic, so a lot of people ask me like, "You still free bands? Free bands is forever. Like Future's my brother. Free bands is forever." And um, we just getting started. Yeah, I'm over at Empire now, and you know I'm still free bands. Free bands, Mogul Tree, Empire. I got my own lane. You know what I'm saying? It's called Mogul Tree. That's the new movement. And that's it, really. So when's this album come out? It comes out Friday. It's walk, was Friday. it Walking on Water? Walking on Water, man. Because I feel like, you know, the concept is Jesus walked on water to make the people who didn't believe, believe that God was real. And, you know, me, I just feel like after coming home for so long and everybody doubt me, like, oh, he ain't going to do it and the sound is different. He ain't going to be able to, you know you know, figure it out and, oh, he's washed up or whatever. Like, you know, I just felt like I've always been doubting. I've always been an underdog. So I just feel like this is me proving that, you know, I can really do this right here and making the non-believers believe, man. I'm making them believe. I'm walking on water. So you got Rick Ross on here. Yeah. You got Future on a couple of joints. Tory yeah. Lanez, Don Q, mm. Dave mm. East. Yeah. Um... T.I. Yo Gotti. Shout to Vellis on several tracks. Yeah, Vellis, man. Vellis is so special, man. I can't wait for him to really break through, man. I think Vellis is a extreme talent. That's my little bro right there. From New York, too, right? Yeah, representing New York City for real. Yeah, so it's out Friday. True life, man. It's good to sit with you, bro. Good sitting with you, man. God is good. So what, after this, after this, what happens? You keep putting out projects, tapes keep coming, yeah, yeah, how's yeah. it go? I already got another one cocked, ready to go, man. We already got another so one. So it's about consistency Yeah, now. consistency, because I know that, you know, me just figuring out the game and knowing the game, it's more about, um, you know, with the streaming, it's, it's, it's you got to feed the monster. It's all about just putting out a lot of music. Every Everything is, you know, with the phone, everybody grabbing their phone, they looking for what's new, what's new, what's new. So if you don't flood the market, it ain't, you ain't really going to last in the game. So I'm already cocked back, ready to drop another one. So that's is. the plan, is just make consistent music and yeah, build this thing back. Pretty much. With this one, to be honest with you, is like, you know, because I got like a, a, the next project's coming out is more like street, is like really hard, like New York, just real street. This one was just me just having fun, and I kind of wanted to escape for a second because my whole 
my whole life, pretty much, everything has been real serious. And it's like, I know that the fans really wanted me to come with the real personal music, talking about where I've been and, you know, what I went through. And they want me to, you know, tell them about what it was like for me to be in prison. And, mm -hmm. and But it was so real for me. Like, most of these rappers don't really live that life. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, when I tell my story, people are intrigued. But you got to remember, this is like my real life. It's like, you got to really, relive it, it when really you tell happened. it. It really yeah. happened. So it's like, I need a time away from that. So... <clears throat> it was a little easier for me to come home. I'm not easier, but I just felt like I wanted to move away from that and just go do creative records to move away from being true life for a second and just have fun in the studio and just make records that felt good and made other people feel good and they could dance in the club and just, you know, have a good time. So most of these records is like, I got a couple street records on here, like the Yo Gotti T.I. record. I got a New York record on there called Yang. Yeah, I got that real New York authenticity but for the most part you know it's just a feel good it's just it just feels good it's all just it's not so much just real real personal out like you know what i'm saying but i got that project coming next and it's already cocked back true you life know. give it up for him yeah. one time walking on Thanks water out for friday let's go man thank y'all man thank y'all for having me for sure